Tonight we're talking about COVID vaccines, but for animals, the oldest gorilla in the world has contracted COVID-19. Ozzy is 60 years old, and now more than a dozen other gorillas at the Atlanta Zoo have tested positive for COVID. So tonight, only on First Coast News, some news for all of us animal lovers. For the first time, the Jacksonville Zoo will begin vaccinating its animals for COVID. But you know, you can't just ask a tiger or a lemur to hold out their arms and Get ready for a shot, right? So let me take you behind the scenes at the zoo. I think this is fascinating. There you are. Hi, buddy. Trainer Tracy Finn and Beebles. This is Hendrix and that's Hemsworth. Well, that's short for blue eyed black lemurs. They're a breeding pair and they will be getting a COVID vaccine. We're very excited that we finally have a vaccine available for the animals. Dr. Yusuf um, Jaffrey, veterinarian at the Jacksonville Zoo, says the vaccine is only for animals. It's not a people vaccine and it comes from a division of Pfizer. We're actually part of the clinical trials um, for the rollout. He says about 200 high-risk animals here at our zoo will get vaccinated. When you talk about losing one or two animals in a population of less than a couple of hundred animals in that species on the planet, uh, then it becomes a real concern. High risk can mean the species is endangered, like lemurs, fewer and fewer in their home, Madagascar. And here, there's only about 70 or 80 in the U.S. And we just put it in front of his face so he sees what he's going to get. So let me take you to vaccine training. First off, whoa, look at him go. Lemurs love grapes. And that's the key to preparing them to stay calm and not jerk away during the shot and miss the whole dose they need. His name is Potter. So Potter learns, hey, I go in here, I get a grape, yeah. First step is just rewarding them for coming up into that, what we, what we call a sleeve there. Hold it. Oh. Then Potter gets some poking, first with the finger on his hip, and then. It's a regular medical needle, but with the tip cut off, so it's not sharp, really. And you can see now Potter is pretty chill with all this. The more you practice, the better they're, they're at it when it's D-Day and time to do the shot. So here's hoping it all goes smoothly for Potter and the lemur clan and the other high-risk animals, including jaguars, tigers, bonobos, and gorillas. Dr. Jaffrey says so far data shows this vaccine is effective. Have you been on kind of pins and needles wanting this vaccine to hurry up and get to you? Absolutely. I think we'll all breathe a sigh of relief uh, once our animals have some level of protection against the virus. Now at our zoo, no animal has gotten the virus so far. That's good. But there was a concern about some bonobos. They had to be tested for COVID. Well, it turns out they were negative. But I thought, gee, sticking a Q-tip up their noses, that cannot be easy. Apparently, though, a bonobo likes to pick his own nose anyway, and so no big deal. How about that? On a serious note, though, Dr. Jaffrey says in zoos around the world, a couple of dozen animals have died so far from the virus. So you can see why they are anxious for these vaccinations, and they could start at our zoo next month.